Today, we're going to walk through how to set up the Dymo printer with the Mac operating system and the Fluoro printer app. First, you're going to want to ensure that you've installed all of the correct drivers for the Dymo printer and the Dymo printer software. You can find all of this information in the quick start guide that the Dymo printer comes with. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and open up the Fluoro printer application and make sure you click into the settings side so that we can make sure that we have the correct settings with the label width and height. You'll see a couple different options here, um, but what we're going to want to go to is the name tag template and parent template down here. This is where we can select from the different templates that Fluoro provides for the label sizes. And today we're going to be using the 89 by 36 Dymo template. We're going to select this for both the name tag and the parent template. And this will automatically select the 89 width millimeters and the 36 height millimeters at the top. You can see if we change this to a different template, it will automatically adjust the width and height up above as well. But we're going to stick to the 89 by 36 today. Once you have the correct label sizes selected for your printer tape, you can scroll down to the bottom and select test print. This is going to print out a test of what it's going to look like for the child name tag and parent labels. If these don't print out correctly or you're experiencing some issues with this, you can also go to the Dymo Connect app and make sure that the template is set up there correctly as well. So you'll see here that we've opened the Dymo Connect printer app and it's going to automatically detect the type of labels that are in the printer. So we'll go ahead and click yes there. Once this is selected, it's going to have this default label that comes up for us. And we can test print this to see if this template is what is causing the issue. If we want to adjust anything on this template, we can, but I actually like to go ahead and just start from a new template from scratch, just so we can make sure that everything is correct on it. So we're going to not save that template and come to a new template here our labels are going to print out sideways like this one so we're going to open it and then we want to make sure that this label is empty since this is the template that the fluoro printer app is going to fill out with all the information so we're going to grab this text here and we're going to go ahead and delete it that will allow this template to be blank and filled out with the information from the fluoro printer app once this is finished and we print a test label that works correctly, we can go ahead and select file and click save to save this template so that we can access it again. If we need to adjust anything with this template, we can come to the open page here and it will be right listed under our recent templates and we can adjust anything here by clicking into it. Once this is saved, we should be able to come back to the Fluoro printer app and do the test print again here and have the printer print without issue. And that's how to connect your Dymo printer to your Fluoro print app on your Mac OS device.